Christians are going to feel heavy. They're going to feel frustrated. You're going to feel tired so much this month. This month of October, you're going to feel so much spiritual warfare. And I already feel it. So many other Christians will feel it. If you don't feel it now, it's going to come eventually. Spiritual warfare is a real thing. It's actually very, very, very crucial to understand as a, <coughs> as a Christian. You know, in the beginning of October, I was very sick. That kept me away from God for some time. But I came back to God, and now I'm feeling very heavy, I'm feeling very frustrated, I'm feeling very tired. And I want to run from God, I don't want to do this, but I'm telling myself what else is going to fulfill me. Nothing else is going to fulfill me, everything else is going to bring me emptiness, but God is actually going to give me something. I actually want God, and a lot of you, you want God, but you're going to feel tired, and that's just a fact. Witches, uh, demonic priests, whoever. These spiritual wickedness in this world, the people who be putting spells on people, the people who be putting demons on people, the devil and his angels, the kingdom of hell, the kingdom of spiritual darkness, all of it. They're working overtime because they want the Christians to fall. They don't want Christians to win. They don't want us to see us succeed. They want the good to get out of this world. They don't want they don't want nothing to do with good. They want evil. So they go around, they pray curses on people. They pray um they pray for demons to come on people. They pray for sickness on people. They do they spend overtime saving the demons, they're pushing harder, they're spending their hours in overtime because they don't want anyone to go to heaven. They don't want anyone to get closer to God. They don't want anyone to grow spiritually. They don't want anyone to find their identity in Christ. So what are they doing? They're bringing spiritual warfare to keep you tired, to keep you to keep you frustrated, to keep you thinking like you cannot get out of it. But Paul tells us in Ephesians 6.10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in God. A lot of us are feeling weak when we should start feeling strong in God. Ephesians 6, 11 to 12 says, Put on the whole armor of God so that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's our fight. The devil and his angels. The devil and his demons, all the wicked people, wicked people who's putting spells on people, witches, whatever it may be. I don't know about all that, but whatever it may be, that's the people. They're working so much <laughs> demonic stuff on this world. That's why we're feeling so dry. We're feeling so heavy. That's why we have to stay and connect with God. That's why we have to fight back. You need the armor of God if we're going to fight. You can't be, you can't be weak no more. You gotta be strong now. You can't be weak no more. You gotta be strong.